session, volume two, for the karmic third parties, I'm telling you, as soon as I yawn on a reading, I know there's some juju happening, right? And let's get into it. Okay, so I'll show you the cards first. We are going to do the reading where the cards can be to the side of me, which is in a little video, um, but I will channel and we're going to pull clarifiers. So I'll just let you have a quick look. Um, already I've pulled a clarifier and this is to do with Mercury energy and yes, because we're coming out of shadow and it's moving in uh, back into Libra on the 10th, I do particularly feel there's some dodgy crap going on, okay? This is, I, I do feel for some they are feeling jealous for relating to the twin flames, okay? Um, for some they may know who the individuals are. And I also feel something that was hidden, and it's weird that this is happening now. It might be because the Scorpio energy is there <clears throat> coming through, right? I get this vibe that a bit of gossip's going to come around. Now, it can be that they're talking about you, um, you know, shading you, speaking poorly of you, again, feeling ill towards you, but I do feel something. While they're not focusing on the ball, Something is coming from behind them, and I do feel this is to do with shady behavior, especially, oh, God, from the ruined cast, okay? Um, another kind of hint I got is because the ruined cast, oh, God, relates to swan. Okay, so birch, swan, bear, cancer, green, water, earth. In the upright... The esotentric meaning is earth, mother, spiritual growth, sustenance. Oh, Lord. Okay. Um, in the mundane, nurturing, nourishment, mothering, fertility, beauty, healing, growth. In the reverse. I'm telling you, this, this feels heavy. Neglect, sterility, intimate perversion. I'm being cautious on YouTube. Okay. It's an auspicious ruin promising the nurturing and sustenance of a new life. Some may be trying to get pregnant. Fresh starts and new projects in some circumstance, however, the appearance may be in an indication that great care may, may need to be taken reversed, may warn against neglect or even worse, um, intimate perversion. I, I just get this vibe that some of them are actually being intimate with other people. Um, some of them it might be something coming out of the bag to do with if they did something in the dark and um, good old Mac Jackson, the kid's not mine. There could be something to that degree going on. We're going to dig deeper. Okay, so there are these old feelings coming back, right? <clears throat> and again, strength card, son. Son, right? They've had a lot of time to think. They're having very strong feelings. Inner child energy can coming up or something to do with children. Message of the week. Okay. I do feel there's something to do with a home, changing in a home and family. I also feel what is coming through, even those that aren't in the connection with masculine or feminine, whomever this karmic energy is, they are also, this is also still playing out more from a closing cycle point of view. I do feel this person feels quite burdened, okay? We'll put the cards back up. I do feel this person feels quite burdened. They're kind of looking to the past. They're looking at it and feeling as though um, things haven't gone according to plan, casting a critical eye on it, being, being angry to do with, you know, home-related dynamics that haven't gone through, maybe not being able to communicate with individuals to express how they feel to do with their frustration, maybe being unable to do things that they need to do as a human being. This may be due to wellness either internal or physical. There is going to have to be a sacrifice, and I do feel some are going to feel um, the pinch, either at a uh, monetary level, emotional level, or physical. I don't feel that happy. 
uh, I, I'm hearing the term that they're looking at things and they're feeling as though this has not turned out the way they wanted it to. They're having to make sacrifices to get to where they need to be. They have an unhappiness in their life at this point in time and they can't, some of them can put their finger on it, some of them can't. There does feel as though there is this vibe around the circumstance of insecurities and jealousy. This could be to do with freedom. It could be to do with the abundance that the karmic relationship was, you know, being able to gain access to. <clears throat> and it was funny because quite a large energy is coming through for the karmics that had dealt or are dealing with a masculine. This is quite a large message this week. But it's also what they get out of this and how they felt towards I do feel there's white little eyes being spread. This can be stalking them via jobs. This individual may need to return to work, but they're also not handling um, their life at the moment. I do feel some of them that had retired, they're actually micromanaging their family members. And I also feel the conflict between them and counterpart is, is quite brutal. Um, counterpart might actually um, get support for this. And this could be more down the route of a professional. Okay, it could be a professional. Because it is impacting the situation. Some used some of these tactics as manipulation to keep things stuck. This can be to do with family, group, tribe. Whatever this is, is becoming burdensome. They're unable to manage it and they've had nothing but drama. I feel some are actually having their friends move away from them. <coughs> Pardon me. For some, they're frustrated at the fact that their phone calls are being blocked. Others, there is a distance within this connection there. I do feel the karmic third party is actually um, busy with family, busy with friends, um, concerned about cash, but maybe having to change the way they're dealing with it. I do feel it's causing conflict and fights. Those that are completely separate, I still feel this is coming up and I'm, I'm hearing the same pain very much, okay? This could be a judgment. They're wanting to come in and balance things out. But I feel this is getting done to them over it's, what would the word be? Um, for it's, it's for everyone technically, but it feels um, the justice synergy is coming through and it's going to be something that's going to make them unhappy. These are two people at the moment that aren't seeing eye to eye. It's almost like a love-hate connection, but I don't necessarily. It's it's passion. Let's pull two chakra cards. Um, what I was being shown is it's passion and desire, but it's anger. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yeah, but, but no good love story. Um, this is where it's got to. It's gone sour. Frustrated. I feel counterpart is dealing with this very groundedly and there's lack of communication between the two. Lack of movement. For some, there's stagnation, but things have stayed the same. They think it's love, and I was like, Paul, clarify. <laughs> it's not that there can't be love. Something in this has changed, okay? Maybe at a point this is where it was, right? 
but this is where it is now, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Okay, some may have moved jobs. The person who was involved in this is thinking about moving home and moving jobs. <clears throat> yep, this can be severing of ties and a divorce. This can be a uh, no deal. Like, I also see this to be the person actually manifesting in a brand new beginning and realising they can start. I feel counterpart is looking at this like they can restart. This person's wanting to bring things around, okay? They want to rebalance things out. This is due to fair base frequency and codependency. And it is sort of a karmic, you know, balance to actually help them <clears throat> to see their future is for them to decide what they're going to do with it. But they feel it's by having a union with this person um, that is going to make it better. Now, I do feel they're hearing through the grapevine or directly counterpart is saying I'm reconciling with twin. I feel this is causing upset because they feel the individual pulling away. <clears throat> I also feel some are actually being found out of a liaison. And again, they're really feeling this is divine feminine's fault. It's really bizarre. Yeah, bizarre. Crown chakra, thought processes, thought processes. Okay, this is a separation. This is a separation. And let's pull three cards for a warning. Oh, I'm going to pull those. Is there anything that the twins need to know in relation to this situation popping up? <laughs> oh, well, okay, look out. Okay, things aren't clear at the moment. It's getting messy. It's going to get messier. This is an uncomfortable spot that this frequency is in, and it's to do with the nodes. It's like <laughs> step out of your comfort zone, north node. The north node at the moment is in Taurus, so it's happening suddenly, right? We're pretty much from mid-month going to get that vibe. Emotions are running high. <laughs> We're heading into eclipse season. You're going to be picking up on it already. This is ending, Scorpio, right? Now, is something going to come of it? Yes, something is. It's in reverse. So this in the upright says nothing will come of this situation. Something is coming of this situation. It's coming to a head. Love and light. I'll see you during the lake. Tell me how this plays out for you. If you do want a personal booking or coaching and support during the funny season, because we are moving into some heavy things, come through a book reading or I'll see you on the other side. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.